Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to show you a new rod that I just picked up along with a couple of other rods that we picked up the other day. Here's my new rod that I just picked up from Bass Pro today. It's got a six to four to one, actually six to six to one gear ratio on the reel. And it's a seven foot medium action rod. We've also got this ugly stick, which is a 6'6 medium action rod. Then this other rod back here that my brother just picked up, which is a medium action rod as well. But um, I just wanted to go through with you guys on what I intend to use this rod for. But I need to go to the store today and pick up some either 10 pound fluoro or mono. A buddy of mine, YouTuber as well, Jake's GoPro, he recommended that's what I get for this rod if I intend to do a lot of Senkos and stuff of that nature and that's what I intend to do with it. So I'm going to go get everything I need for this rod. Today I'm going to have to get some weights for the top ends of the Senkos, the head of the Senko for the rig and some 10 pound line of course and I'm going to go pick that stuff up, set it up and show you guys how I'm going to have this rod set up for my 2017 fishing season. Stay tuned, let's get on our way to the store. So I had mentioned obviously I showed you guys that uh, bait caster they picked up today. I actually picked it up at Bass Pro Shops, obviously it's a Brass Bass Pro brand uh, rod today. Was going to film when I was there but store was kind of busy and I was just so tired I'm actually still super tired right now, believe it or not. I'm just dead beat tired right now. This is the rod that I was gonna buy. It's just this combo from Abu Garcia, the six to four to one ratio, gear ratio. But I want the Bass Pro on, so whatever. I'm good with. Floro, 10 pounds, just 200 yards of it. This is what Jake and Jake's GoPro recommends. So I'm gonna go with the first bait caster. So I just figured I'd ask somebody who's on one a little bit longer than me. And then also if you come over here, which one should I go with? Do you want something a little bit heavier or lighter? Probably something with a little bit more weight to it, right? Yeah. This one or this one? 3 sixteenths? Yeah, I'd go with that one. This one? Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll go with two packs of these then. I think I should buy it. I just kind of like the fact that I can organize all my stuff in there. And I have plenty of room for filling this with all my tackle, keeping it organized. You can put new ones in there. And I can also just set my, all my bags of uh, Senkos in there. Set all my pliers and my knives and everything else in here. My line I can put in the side pouch. Everything I need just fit in the bag. Not to have like four tackle boxes like that. Just carry it around trying to I am going to get some of these swivel quick attachments. I will get one of. I'll just get this. I don't know if he's got everything he needs yet, but I've got everything I need. I'm about ready to go, so. See what else he needs to grab here, and then uh, should be on the way. You're gonna get those Havocs? Sweet. You ready to go? Nope. What? <laughs> Two fish hooks. Okay, we're finally done. I'm gonna head out, get to the house, and show you how I rig this up. So I got my rod out here, my bait caster. I picked up some 10 pound fluoro line. I'm going to be getting it, obviously I'm gonna run the line through, get it spooled up on here. And then what I'm gonna do is rig it up and show you guys the whole process. I'm not sure if you guys really need to see how to um, put line on your bait caster, but if you guys want me to show you, I can show you very briefly how I do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's the right way to do it per se, but this is the way to do it. First thing you're going to want to do, of course, is get your line, get your spool here, screwdriver, put it through, set it in a box. I just put the screwdriver through there and stuck it into the box here to hold it there. So that should be all I need to do. I'm going to take the end of my line, of course, for the very first eye. Do the first one, second one, third, and so forth. Okay, so I got it all the way down to the reel itself. I'm going to start with the guide right here that feeds the line all the way to one side. So as you start to reel it, you know, it'll feed it, you know, evenly across the first layer, you know, so on and so forth. Probably not much of a deal. Fed it through the guide. Now, this can be tricky. I'm going to try to feed it under and through to the other side. Now, what you may need, which is why I brought them out here some pliers and reach down in there grab the end of that line like so pull it through that makes it a lot easier so you don't have to struggle for five
five minutes trying to pull your line to the other side. I'm just gonna do like a basic knot. As long as it keeps the line on there and secure, it should be fine. Okay, so I got my line knotted around tied around and knotted twice just double knotted I'm just gonna not really apply any tension to the string at first but just for starts I'm just gonna slowly reel a little bit to try to get that line started on and then after it starts to get started on and you can see it's starting to spool up on there then you can add a little bit of tension and reel a little bit faster so I'm gonna get this going on here this shouldn't take more than a couple minutes at the most and I should be good to go okay so I finished spooling up the line on here you don't want to put on um, too much line like you can see you see the kind of like this discolored inside part like that gold ring on the inside there that's the spinning part of the spool you do not want to go above that otherwise it'll interfere with some of the other gears and just parts of the reel and so you don't want to do that okay now I'm going to rig this rod up really quick and I'm going to show you what my intentions are for this bait caster because this is mostly what I use like I said I think bait casters for the most part are used for a little bit heavier stuff so what I'm gonna end up doing is just make sure I have a little bit of extra weight on there as I'm going to start off by taking one of these slip sinkers so I'm gonna slide it on I'm gonna take one of my fast hooks the size three I'm gonna apply that to the end here so now I got my uh, number three with my slip sinker on top I'm gonna show you how I rig this now I would get one of my good baits out but since I'm not going to be actually using it for quite some time I'm not going to open up a new pack of Senkos just for the demonstration. I'm just going to hook it in through here. Go down about a quarter inch into the top of the Senko. Reason being is that I can almost pretty much bury, you can see here, just the whole top part, the neck of the hook. I'm going to take it through. To a weedless is usually what I run all the time. Sometimes I do wacky rigs, but with this particular setup with the sinker and all, I'm going to do a weedless setup. That's what I'm going to intend on doing most of the time. And uh, this is it. This is pretty much, this is the gist of what I'm doing. Sorry. That's it right there. Got my weight up, my slip sinker up on top. My Senko is going to be on there. Right now I just got a generic purple worm, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Like I said, I don't want to open up a new pack of scented baits um, if I'm not going to use it just to tear it up. But, and that's what I'm going to run on this pretty much all the time. Mostly all I use, I can switch up colors and whatnot, but for the most part, this is the setup that I'm going to go with almost always with this rod. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Here again, here's my new bait casting rod. This is my setup, pretty much what I'm going to be running, except for I'm not going to be using that particular uh, worm pretty much ever. I'm going to be using like the uh, pumpkin seed and watermelon colored Senkos for the most part. All different kinds of colors of Senkos, but just not this particular one. I just didn't want to open up a new pack, but it's a seven foot medium action um, rod. Pretty good, pretty good rod, I feel. Not the best, not over the top, nothing too fancy. Just enough to get me started with a bait caster, and I feel it, uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty good fit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment below, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.